I often get asked how do I get such an interesting composition in my artworks. In this video I will tell and show you my secret of composing. For this artwork I had an idea of showing a two-headed raven and the forest in the background. That's all, no details at this point. I started looking for raven references and found one where the bird was flying. And that shape was fitting for my idea. After making a sketch and tracing it onto the canvas, I decided about the color palette. Something in pinkish greenish but again no strict plan. I leave a lot for the process and coincidence. The names of the paints I used in this artwork you will see as always in the end of the video. I placed my raven in the lower part of the canvas, just because I thought it was not as usual as placing a flying bird up in the sky. And now what I'm doing here is what I call throwing paint on canvas. At this stage my goal is to fill up the canvas with big masses of color. Here I also noticed that simply making a forest might not give me the depth and perspective I wanted, so I spontaneously decided to also make a sky. Since I made the value of the sky color very close to the value of the raven color, it has created a nice balance. While making composition at this stage, I look more on the value of the color than the color itself. This is just a little hint on how to get interesting colors in your artwork, but I will tell you about this in the upcoming videos. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss it. Usually our brain tends to unite smaller shapes into bigger ones, therefore exactly at this stage you can see see how good your artwork looks without details. If it works well now, it will also stay good later, after you add the details. Of course, if you don't brutally overdo them. As you can see now, after I was happy with my main shapes, I'm starting adding some smaller elements. Of course, every artist is different and has a different approach. I love doing things not detailed too much and leaving something unsaid. I also tend to make some little movements to mark the spots for getting back to them later, but afterwards I noticed that this spontaneous movement was just the right one. And maybe this is only my own opinion, but I guess there is no such pleasant work for a painter than to paint nature. Because here, the more free your brushwork is, the more natural everything looks. But what is still important for me here is not adding colors with way too different values. This way I don't break my big shapes that I defined in the first part of the painting process. Many artists concentrate way too much on the good result and not on enjoying the process. This often causes unnecessary pressure and an art block that stops you from making art at all. If you feel this way, I invite you to my online workshop Overcoming Art Block. It consists of 7 videos with 13 art exercises, doing which you will concentrate on the process and not the result, and will also gain the new art skills. Since the workshop is online, you can do it at any time and place that is convenient for you. Check the link below this video. Since I didn't plan any exact objects in the background and the main shape is also already done, I'm simply free here to do whatever I want. I think artists who paint objects and not shapes will be jealous at this moment. It's been a long time since I noticed that the viewer's mind needs actually just a very little information to understand what is shown. So I don't have to paint grass and flowers here to make the viewer understand it's some kind of the feel. It is clear from the context. Similar to the raven, the shape of the hole makes it to the raven, and not how exact I paint the feathers. Now it's more a field of expression for me here than painting something in particular. Once again, I talk about all these things that make artists' approach easier in my online workshop Overcoming Art Blog, so don't miss it. Now when I'm moving closer towards the end, I face my usual problem in art. It's overdoing and not being able to stop at the right point. When I notice that some spots have already too much noise, I simply take a bigger brush and work over them to clear it up a bit. In my opinion, in art the principle less is more is as important as everywhere else. Even if your work is highly detailed, everything should be said in the best way. This is how your art will look convincing. As you see with this way of composing, it doesn't really matter how good the subject is and how skilled you are. You always can make it work, whether it's figurative or an abstract artwork. 
with a little knowledge and a bit more practice, of course. I wish you all an inspiring day.